Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover PowerPoint 2016 and I'm going to show you what I do when I have to edit an existing presentation. So let's say I just downloaded this PowerPoint file from somewhere on the internet. First thing I want to do is I want to go to the file tab up here in the top left. It'll take me to the backstage menu and I want to go to save as and save as is right there and then I can save it to wherever I want on my computer. Keep in mind that when you go to save as it's saving it to a new location. So if you just downloaded it from the computer or from the internet rather it's going to go most likely to your downloads folder. So it's always a good idea to hit browse right there and choose a new location for it. All right so now I've uh, downloaded this I've opened it up and now I need to do a couple things. One of the first things I do whenever I look at a presentation presentation is I go into the design tab. All right. Design tab gives me a lot of information like what theme am I using, what variants are available, and also this one which a lot of people don't know about which is slide size over here. And this basically changes the uh, size of the slides in the presentation. I could look here and I could see the standard size as well as widescreen which gives me a little bit more room to work with. So I usually choose widescreen and you can see that here's standard and here's widescreen. All right, cool. So now we've got all that set. So one of the next things that I like to do whenever I take a look at my presentation is I like to view it in what's called outline view. Now, a lot of people don't know what outline view is, but if you go to the view tab and you go in over here to the presentation views group, there's this button right here. It says outline view and it says edit and jump between your slides in the outline view. You can easily create an entire presentation just by pasting your outline from Word into the outline pane. All right, so in Microsoft Word, there's an outline mode where you could basically copy and paste right into here in the PowerPoint, which makes it very easy to create entire presentations very fast. So you can see an outline view. It basically shows you the title of the slide, the slide number, and the text within the slide. All right, now this is great because I could actually go in and let's say I want to look at uh, slide two here. All right, and so I just click over here on slide two. I could actually make changes right from the outline view and I don't even have to go over here and work on the actual slide uh, itself. All right, so it's no longer thumbnails on the left side, rather it's text. So let's say I wanted to uh, change some of this. So right here it says no formal roads. I could actually click right after the word roads and I could type in or facilities. And I type that in and we see right there, it makes the change right over here onto uh, PowerPoint itself. So that's a couple things that I like to do. Outline view is great because it actually lets you read all of the text on the presentation without having to go in and see how the actual slides are designed. That way I could pretty much take a look uh, at what's going on on the presentation as far as text and then I could look at design second and make sure that the design is the way that I want it to be and then I could worry about making the design changes after that. So hopefully this video helped you out, helped you maybe uh, consider a few things if you download a PowerPoint file uh, from an email or from the internet. What are the, what are some good things to look at first? So hopefully this helped you out. Uh, if it did, please give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.